Guess what? It's April, and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late, and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hey, Aries. So happy birthday. You might be the only one who is happy right now with the new moon. Everybody else is like, fuck you, Aries. Not everybody, and that might change over time. Um, but they're saying straight out the gate before I even ask the questions about this month is it's important to spend your time um, with other people. With all this fire energy, being in your season, you might be alienating yourself a little bit. And so making sure that you keep others close. Okay, so what's this reading about? This month I'm going to skip um, the crystal of the month and the lucky days. I will send that out in an email because I'm trying to preserve my voice and make the videos maybe a little bit shorter for some of you. Um, so if you're not on my email list, you should be because I give away a free 20-minute video reading every month and that's how you are selected. Also, I only send one email a month. So it's not like, you know, when you sign up for a stupid webinar and then they email blast you like 17 times a day. Okay, anyway, here's the dealio, Emilio. We're going to look at your social and emotional well-being right now. We're going to look at, um, you know, what we can do to kind of improve your spirit and then what we can do to, um, whoa, we're also going to look at your career and then uh, your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or you're somewhere in between, like in a non um, defined relationship. Maybe it's on again, off again. Maybe it's polyamorous. Maybe it's just not Facebook official, whatever. Okay. So straight out the gate, there's in, whoa, those feelings, you're feeling them strong. <laughs> and you may, <coughs> excuse me. And you might feel, you know, very much like you're kind of on your own right now with this and that nobody's going to understand. So what else is going on with the, with your social and emotional well being? And they're like, well, Honestly, all of this like self-reflection and stuff is a good thing because it's going to create these kind of circumstances where you could feel an overabundance or an overwhelm, like this overflow of joy and love and happiness, whether that's with somebody new, whether it's with somebody already, or even if it's just for within yourself. So that's fantastic. Um, in order to get there, they're saying like, you're going to have to go through this period of confusion, like understanding what is my priority, like what are my biggest priorities and kind of eliminating the clutter, which is why you might feel inclined to sort of distance yourself from other people to work through that. However, other people might be the key in helping you figure that out. You know, oh, maybe I thought I really liked this or this was really important to me, but now that I'm spending time with other people doing this, mm, not so much. Or maybe somebody calls something to your attention and makes you think about things in a different way way. So they're saying it's not going to be like somebody's just going to solve the problem for you though. This is like this inner um, discovery that you'll be doing but it is for your uh, own benefit in very many ways. They're saying especially in your love life if you're looking for love, if you're trying to go find it, this will help you to better know what it is that you want in your relationships um, and even if you are coupled, it will help you to have a better relationship because what it's going to do is it's going to remind you what's important in your relationships and the kind of relationship that you want to have. Um, but, you know, the more that we know ourselves and what it is that we desire, the easier it is for us to go find it. Then we know a lot quicker what's for us and what isn't. Um, in regards to your friendships... They're saying they are, what going, they are what are going to give you kind of like this strength to push through any of this emotional confusion and chaos that you might be going through in the month of April. Um, so as far as your career, what does it look like? They're saying if you love what you do, put all of the energy that you can into really fully expressing um, – you know, the joy and the happiness and that love because then the rewards like monetarily or um, notoriety wise will come afterwards. If you are focusing on the aspects, like not every job is perfect, right? Um, there's going to be things you don't like about any position that you have, even if it's running your own business. So basically what they're saying is focus your energy into the things that you love most about what you're doing. And even if it's just, I love getting a paycheck, but I fucking hate everything else. Um, you know, if you work for commission, it would be very good for you to kind of focus on boosting up that paycheck or whatever. Basically what it's saying is like when you focus your love energy in your career this month, 
and this might mean having to change careers and doing what you really love, then the money, the notoriety, the success will follow as a result because people will be able to tell that you really love what you're doing and then everything flows naturally and easy to you. Um, as far as your love life, if you are a single Aries, now I want to mention here, your moon sign is typically going to resonate better for love just because we make our love decisions based on, you know, our emotions, which is ruled by the moon. So if you're single, though, you can watch, you can watch both, though. Anyway, what they're saying is it's time to broaden your horizons. Wherever you're looking for dates, you know, it's time to try a different avenue. So perhaps you're exclusively using Tinder. Open your mind to Bumble. Be open to allowing friends to recommend you, um, you know, friends of theirs that are also single, blind dates kind of things. Or, um, you know, if you are always, if you have a history of fucking your boss, maybe it's time to try to find a different partner somewhere outside of work. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, and so they say, what is the result of that? Well, you could very well find this month the kind of relationship that results in marriage and like foreverness. The kind of person that you grow old with, that you retire with, that you show, share a lifetime of memories with, regardless of your age. So this is a really good time for you. It's a very lucky time for Aries to find love if you're single. If you're coupled, what they're saying is um, there are some things that need to be talked about and you know this. Like deep within your soul, you are very aware, but you don't want to deal with it. You're using the avoidance tactic, which is a very typical Aries energy. Um, and sometimes that works for you. But now it's time to have the conversations that you don't really want to have. They're saying like, look, if you are not the one to initiate the conversation, then your partner is going to do that. And if they initiate the conversation, they get to determine how the conversation starts. So basic communication 101 here says, if I don't want whatever it is that we need to talk about to blow up into a massive argument, it would be in my better interest to start this conversation so that I get to set the tone. Because if your partner comes at you like, hey, um, where is all this money going? Like, you're going to naturally jump onto the defense and you're going to be like, since when do you have to question me about money, right? Or something like that. And so um, if you bring it up and you say, hey, I just wanted you to know I'm a little bit embarrassed, so I didn't tell you right away, but I blew the budget and I'm very sorry. Now, all of a sudden, your partner's response is going to be a lot more loving and forgiving, which works out better for you. So this is why it's very important because this conversation is going to happen no matter what. You know that there's a conversation that needs to be had and it's better if you're the one to bring it up because it um, creates less strain and discord in your own life. Now, if you're in a relationship that is not defined, um, what does it say here? They're saying, ooh, very, very sexy kind of month for you. Now, <clears throat> one thing I would worry about, actually I want to pull a card just to see how big of a threat this is. Okay, so for most of you, this is not going to be a threat, but for maybe I would say like three people potentially that could watch this that are in a not defined relationship, there's a possibility of pregnancy here. Um, is it likely? No, um, for most of you, but some of you think that you're protecting yourself. Maybe one of your partners um, says that they had a vasectomy, but it, you know, it didn't work. Or maybe a condom breaks. Or maybe your IUD um, is in there sideways, and so therefore not effective. Something like that. Something weird is going on here, and you're not going to notice until it's to the point where you don't really have a choice as to what you might want to do with that. And it's not going to be a happy situation for you. So that's just a special me message for like one or two people. Um, so to get back to the core of what I wanted to say for the majority of non-defined Aries in relationships, what they're saying is this is the kind of month where... Um, you know, potential partners or, you know, whoever this person or people are in your relationship are really going to look at you and be like, wow, that is a sexy person. Whether you are a male or a female, you're just like radiating this energy where it's like, not only does everybody want to fuck you, but they even kind of want to be you. It's very nurturing, very loving, very classy, but like you're not even going to um, you're not maybe going to notice that about yourself. It's just that other people are drawn to you, but maybe at the same time um, intimidated by you. So you might not notice it initially, okay? 
what they're saying here is though, um, th there could be some arguments because not everybody is on the same page about how to approach certain situations. You might all want the same thing, but have different ideas on how to go about that. So typically in relationships, this is like, as some, we want to be together, but maybe I want an open relationship. Maybe I want a monogamous relationship. Or we both want to get married at some point, but I want to do that before we move in together. And I want to live with you first just to make sure kind of a thing. It's like at the end of the day, you want the same thing, but there's bickering and arguing potentially about how to achieve that. So you just want to focus on the end goal and be as flexible as you can be um, within reason, keeping in mind that the end goal is, <coughs> excuse me, is the goal. Okay. So there's this Japanese proverb that's like, um, the strongest bamboo like bends in the wind, but oak or something cracks, you know? So the more you dig in your heels, the more you're going to bicker and argue essentially. So is there anything else that Aries in general need to know for the month of April or look out for? And they're just saying like, hey, you know, some of you are starting to focus a little bit more on the positive things, on the things that are going right instead of the things that are going wrong. And that's going to be working for you. So an affirmation for you here is I think big and then I allow myself to accept even more good from life. Each day is a new opportunity. Yesterday's over and done. Today is the first day of my future, as is every day, to be honest. And so that's what they're saying with that optimistic kind of attitude. Like, that's going to serve you very well. Now, this one is going to be the most challenging for you. And it says, okay, so this is hard. So to really believe it, you instead of saying, I love myself, you can say, I'm in the process of learning to love myself, okay? So I love myself exactly as I am. I no longer want to wait to be perfect in order to love myself. So if this one is particularly hard for you, you're gonna say I'm in the process of learning to love myself exactly as I am. I no longer wait to be perfect in order to start loving myself. So that, my darlings, is your April. So happy April, and like I said, head over to my website and sign up for the, um, the email list. The, if you're looking at it from mobile, some people don't know how to do that. And it's just like this little green smiley face at the bottom of the page that you can click on. And then you just say, yeah, I'm manifesting this reading. And then poof, maybe you win. Okay. Love you so much. See you. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!